Look at what we brought back, a real piece of a 150 million year old fossilized dinosaur. And what did we do with it? A unique creation, the Jurassic watch with a fossilized dinosaur bone dial. Today at the Hotel d'Angleterre, it's Louis Moinet's showtime. Follow me. A little madness did us the greatest good during our stay in Switzerland for the Geneva watch days. And as always, Jean-Marie Schaller redoubled his imagination to provide friends of the brand with an unforgettable moment, around watchmaking of course, but also around themes such as prehistory, fantasy and the conquest of space. With a bonus, a moon model to win. For these GWDs, we decided not to exhibit watches, but to involve our friends and customers in an experience. It's the discovery of the world of cinema and unique watchmaking creations accompanied by props, that is to say, accessories which have been used in exceptional films, such as, for example, Tom Hanks's camera in Apollo 13. And then behind me, we have Stan. It's a resin mold of the head of the largest T-Rex that's been discovered up until today. And this is a piece that resonates with this creation in particular, which is called T-Rex. It's a unique piece whose dial is made up of a part of this fossilized T-Rex's tooth. And what you see in green, that jungle effect, is something that I don't think has ever been done before. It's a beetle wing inlay. No beetles were killed, it should be said. And this piece is magnificent because it turns from green to blue depending on the way you look at it. Another piece that catches the eye with this bas-relief engraving technique, which gives it a real play of contrasts, is called infinity a real tribute to the art craft professions. There's an exceptional piece whose case and dial engravings are inspired by geometric shapes that recreate this theme of infinity. It's a real work of art. The dial is exceptional because there are two plates entirely engraved by hand. And once they're superimposed, sometimes we really get the impression that we're looking at a dial which is set with diamonds. So it's luminous, it's so alive. Tellement il est lumineux, tellement il est vivant. An inseparable theme of Louis Moinet, inventor of the chronograph and keen on astronomy, is the conquest of space. Strolling in the middle of a Hollywood setting, where the pride of place was given to spacesuits, visitors remained in awe of two pieces, with stars in their eyes. Codename of the first, Adastra. Adastra is a watch that uses a particular technique. There's a dial which is a deep black. It's a piece of technology with tiny holes arranged in a titanium plate which absorb the light. The black is almost absolute. We're really in a sidereal world. And there's the satellite tourbillon cage, which is themed like a space shuttle, which will orbit around an axis. And on the other side of the tourbillon, there's a blue sapphire, which rotates like a planet. So we have the impression that it's floating in space. Star Wars fans will probably appreciate this unusual object, which gave Louis Moinet's team a lot of trouble, with nearly three years of research and development in the workshops. It's called Space Revolution. This is actually our first space object. In fact, there are two space stations and two ships, which rotate clockwise for two of them, and the other two counterclockwise at a high speed since they complete a full revolution in five and ten minutes. So 18 times per hour, the two ships will clash in an intergalactic battle. We have the great pleasure of being able to create things our own way, think outside the box and bring new emotions to this world, which is sometimes a little too traditional. Sometimes they are offbeat timepieces, which perfectly reflect the mindset of their creator, who seems unwilling to stop there. Of course, it's showtime. We're going to go for it. The proof is here in pictures. This is the space revolution, the first we're delivering, Louis Moinet's first space object. I'm late. With my friend R2-D2, we have to use the DeLorean to go deliver to an intergalactic client. Back to the future.